What's up guys, R. A. Jack, and today we're gonna to be going over the Rapala knot. The Rapala knot is a great knot for jerkbait fishing, and uh, whether it's for bass, for trout, crappie, anything you're fishing jerkbaits for, and you wanna have that good pause in between, and it be a quick stop instead of a glide, this is the knot you need to learn how to tie. So here you go. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start with an overhand knot. I like to go about six inches to eight inches above the end of my line, essentially. And then you're gonna create an overhand knot, just like that. So, just a loop in your line. You know, pass your line through the eye of your hook. I'm using a little carabiner for this. Make sure you didn't tighten that down. And then you're gonna pass the line through that, your tag end. You bring that all the way up pretty much. And then you're gonna wrap this tag line around your main line three times, so I'm only gonna do it twice for this demonstration, just cause it gets a little hard with the paracord. And then you're gonna back, go back through that overhand knot. So you have the gap there, you go back through it. And then that just created another loop. You're gonna take the tag in, come in, do that again. Lubricate this knot at this time. Put your finger through the knot and cinch it all down. And you have yourself the Rapala knot. This is an extremely easy knot to tie, super fast to tie, and uh, it's a strong knot as well. I have not had knot failure with this, and it is a uh, great knot for certain applications. Like I said, for jerkbait fishing particularly, that's what it's meant for. It uh, gets the job done. So give it a shot next time you're out there bass fishing or trout fishing, and uh, hopefully this helps you catch your next personal bass. And give this video a thumbs up down below, guys, and tight lines.